Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Zerzler. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Moth House. This is an interesting game. From what it said on the itch.io page, it's a collecting horror game. You're supposed to collect a few different kinds of moths in this house. Interesting. I have played collecting based horror games before. I mean, that's basically kind of what the whole uh, Slenderman game genre kind of is. We just go around collecting specific things. I don't think this is that kind of collecting game, but I don't know. It sounded interesting. So let's go to go in to the moth house. I saw the lamp in the over there. My lamp's over here on my side over here. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on it. <clears throat> on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. Hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, I have a request to you. In the attached letter, bears a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. What kind of expedition is he doing? You going to Narnia? Oh! Oh! Okay! I like this style! It's like old! Old style! I mean, it's like old, like, those old black and white films, like, the solid films. The old movie, like Nosferatu and many others. I don't need to go back. I like it. I like the style. Oh my god, look at the match. It's actually burning down. The flame's burning down. That is so cool. It's those fun little details that just make fun indie games so much fun. Okay. Well, let's go find a... Oh my god. I don't even know what I said there, but okay. I was about to say, let's go find a lamp. I found one. Just turn it on, take the little thing off, and let the moths go to the light. Do you seriously have a photo? Is that a moth? It's a photo of a moth. I well, hear some moths already. How do I catch them? My match is about to go out. Uh, is there like a uh, use mouse wheel to change the item? Yeet. How do I? What the? Okay, I have to catch one of each. Oh my god, there's a lot here. Are these real moths? Luna moth, tiger moth, American dagger moth, leopard moth, walnut sphinx, rosy maple moth, io moth, emperor gum moth, Cretonotol's Genghis moth, Hercules moth, black witch moth. These are a lot of moths, my guy. Well, good news. This area is now moth-free. You're welcome. Ah, uh, here we go. I was about to say, here's the lamp. Oh, big ones. I will catch you all. Gotta catch them all. Oh, god dang it. Yeah, I was about to say. Bring the matches. Let's get the ones on the wall, because they're a bit harder to see and get, because they kind of blend into the wall. Try and catch all of them. Did I catch them all? No, Suri Bob. Okay, I don't think I see any more. Okay, I think I caught them all. How many is that? A lot of American Dagger Moths. It looks like we caught one of four, five out of like what? How many are there in this one building? So many moths. Um. Why is that glowing over there? Yeah, light a new match, buddy. Man, is this guy really just obsessed with moths or something? Okay, to each their own. Creepy hallways. There's a what's this? What the? 
Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with e with other moths, and detecting their environment, this ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz. With an average value of around 30-60 kilohertz, around 20.7, a moth produces ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Increasingly, interestingly, there are devices called back detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. It's because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Okay. So you're heading towards the right direction. The door is locked. Did we not get left a key or something? Uh, this thing isn't really getting anything. There we go. Yeah. Bring it out. Yup. Yup. Goose? I just got a goose there. Just waiting for him to say Owl Flack. Actually, nothing. I don't even think I've seen an Owl Flack commercial in a long time. Hmm. Do you still do those commercials with the duck? Or did they change it? I still see uh, Jake from State Farm in his commercials. Nope. Grab it. It's very hard to see where all the moths are. They really do just blend in. Jeez. Just went straight to the hundreds when I looked over one of these directions. And it's not. Seriously? Well. Let's grab the moths. Come yeah, on. Okay, that seems to be all of them. Crowbar. Or this door? Jeez, what's this say? The Luna Moth is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. It is named after the Roman goddess of the moon because of its pale green color and crescent shaped markings on its wings. The lunar moth is known for its short adult lifespan of only about a week during which it does not eat or have a mouth. The wingspan of a lunar moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in the North America. The caterpillars of the species are also quite striking. With bright green bodies and long shiny tails, the lunar moth is primarily active at night. Well, it's a good thing it's night time. Cooking. No recipes, what am I gonna be cooking? Let's look around. Oh, that's creepy. Nope. Where is it? I guess I don't need to equip it. Jeez, this place really is just huge. There's so many moths. I mean, this is a collecting horror game. So far, the only horror elements just kind of creepy atmosphere. So I don't expect like a tentative gameplay. So I don't think that's one of those kinds of games. Jeez, this is <laughs> my OCD over here is making sure that I catch all of them. How many have I collected? A lot. Or not as many. Okay, it looks like I've only collected at least one out of okay, five. 10 total out of like 25. Jeez. Is this a pizza box here? Hmm. How big is your house, buddy? Place is big. What does this say? I, I meant to read that. The Croton. I'm not saying that name again. This moth is a species of moth found in Northeast Asia. 
Australia, and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored hind wings that are car c covered ah, geez, in long fluffy hair-like structures called chromata. The chromata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its chromata in response to environmental and social factors, which may play a role in its mate selection and competition. Okay, then. Come on. There we go. Okay, there's the flying ones. Now the wall ones are definitely the hardest ones to get, because they blend in with the wall, kind of. Especially with the lighting of it being like a black and white kind of game. Style like a black and white movie. I could actually see this story being an old black and white horror movie. I mean, have you seen how some of the old black and white movies were? Or supposed to horror ones? Ooh, they were bizarre. Okay, I think we're good here. Jeez, how big is this place? Let's get some of the wall ones. Do -do -do -do. Just collecting so many of these moths. Hey, don't try and escape me now. The fact that they move also makes this a bit difficult, because they still blend in really well to the wallpaper. Whoever thought this wallpaper was a good idea? There's ours to get slapped, seriously. You're gonna have moths in your house. At least try and get something so you can actually see the moths. Instead of a wallpaper where they can just blend in like it's nothing. Jeez, I'm not clicking, I'm doing this one video. Making sure, okay. Let's just save recipe. I meant to click it. Okay, I got a recipe. I guess I can use that for the cooking pot. Guess let's just continue. I thought I heard one of them. What's this? Hey, Paul, it turns out the lingua moths has main bills by speaking human language. They're capable of... So I have to report that I'm going to... I'm not sure if I'll be back from there, but the name is science. I had to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different monsters in case. I'll block the entrance if something happens. Let the key in the attic in the library. The lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language? Buddy, did you discover the moth man from West Virginia or something, buddy? Because you're talking like you discovered the moth man. And if so, I'm scared. Oh, that's... I'm seeing up earlier for... Oh, God, they're all over the walls there. I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, oh, hi! What the? Um. Huh? I, huh? I. Whoa. Okay. So he didn't exactly find the moth man, but he just found a gigantic moth, the size of a human. So I guess close enough to the moth man. And some more of a representation. Am I still supposed to collect all the moths? Because I'll do it just in case. Because I think this game has multiple endings, so I'm just going to collect all the moths. See that I might just appease the moth god who captured us and cocooned us. Fun fact, my mom is deathly afraid of moths. And that's actually because of something that happened to her and my aunt when they were younger. When they were younger, my, my aunt... Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for his discovery of the Lingua Moth, a new species of moth that can speak human language. The Lingua Moth's ability to communicate English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. 
Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for mock collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Okay, well we finally got ourselves a key. No, I did not mean to... I'm guessing that key will finally lead us to the last moth we need to find. I'll lean up the library over here since we don't want to only place that really doesn't have moths. At least not many of the moths. Let's try and find that door again. Uh, no, this isn't it. Let's find that door. Smart bandages. No. Keeping the hurts out. Started from. Gotta find that door. Just leads down to basement. Come on, note. No. Crap. Oh, he's definitely after me. He's like right by me, isn't he? Yep. He's got speed to him. Where is this last moth? I will find the moth. It ends up being the last thing I do, which it probably will. I can't seem to find the door. Maybe it's not actually over here. Maybe it's back in one of the previous areas. So we got a key. What door was locked again? Is it this one? What is it? Holy! Oh, I think I get it! You're the last moth! Hello, human. I'm the Moth King Helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human like me. Okay. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our masters disappeared from this house, and the moth king is hungry. That's what the recipes are for. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. Thanks, but one pot soup is enough. Or the king, make more soup. I was known the king liked this soup, so it's better. It better will it be if you make soup from other ingredients. Okay. So that's the one we did last time. Yeah, because we have like multiple of each kind of moth. So let's feed the king. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time, and who pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup, I think he'll have enough. One more thing of soup. We have the recipe, we can make it. And we've captured a lot of moths, so... This should be it. Defeat the king. Thank you for feeding a moth king. However, he says that your soups were terrible, and you would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the king's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hill. That was a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there. People too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we'll have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice, so goodbye. What do you mean? Um. Okay. What the... Huh? This game really took a weird turn. I mean, I was expecting a big moth, but... Moth hell? What is this? Am I a moth now? Yeah, I'm a moth now. Great. <laughs> moth house. A game by Ken Forrest. Okay, then. 
<laughs> that was so weird. Okay. That was the most scariest game I've ever played, but that was very interesting. I like the idea of collecting and trying to feed a god of some kind, basically. Except this was a king. This game has multiple endings, right? That's what I said on the itch page. Yeah, multiple endings that are free. I collected one. Now, I'm not going to replay the whole game to get all endings. So, I'm going to see and probably watch a video, see what the other endings are. So, give me a while I try and find one of those. Okay, so I found a video of someone who played the game and got all endings. And probably no surprise, this video is from mainly Badass Hero. Another one of the YouTubers who kind of inspired me to do YouTube. Especially back when I was doing mainly horror games back when I first started the channel. So, of course, let's seize our endings. Your soups. So he has powers. And we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. What? So does it just end there? Or... See giant moth leaving the house or giant army moths? Oh yeah, he sure is huge. The right thing. Well, you released moth run to the world, so yeah, maybe. But I'm okay, right? So that's... that's all that matters? <laughs> Moth house. So then we need to get a couple more endings. Yeah. Now let's see. I'm just gonna like leave. That's yeah, ending I didn't choose, which is like leaving. Quest. None of this like diversion stuff to the King of Moths. Just releasing all the moths. Okay, and then the last ending, which is third ending, is the one I got, the one of Moth Hell. <laughs> You're all free now. Okay, so yeah. So those are the other two endings. I didn't want to try and replay the whole game over again just to try and get those endings. Because it's rather tedious. That's the only thing about these like, collecting stuff is it does get a bit tedious and definitely messes with my OCD a bit. But not a bad game at all. I did quite like it. And moths are definitely a lot freakier than people give them credit for. But that was not bad. Not bad at all. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.